What's up, everybody? Quad Nines here. Uh, yeah, got a pack of Modern Horizons. Only one I've had so far. I've played some on Magic Online and haven't had a lot of luck in the limited department. Like, I've had a couple pretty sick decks that, I don't know, just uh, haven't played real well and haven't drawn real well. And, oh, maybe I just don't know what the format wants to do. I've had a really good uh, Ninjas deck a couple times. Had uh, black white changelings. I've had just red X aggro a couple times. I don't know. Maybe I need to try something else. Is the rare in the front? I want to say it is. So, yeah. Well. Okay. Well, close enough. Prohibits the file clause. Swipes pretty good, but I don't like green. Rhyme tender the. The snow deck just hasn't hasn't worked for me. Maybe I just need to open up better stuff or just play better. I find that's usually my problem. I just need to play better. And the uncommon we saw was the Baron Moor, which I have liked a lot. There's a lot of the, if there's a land card in your graveyard, then this, and I've liked it a lot. Carrion Feeder, I've gotten into some situations against this card. None of them are good, so. Hey, Goblin Matron. I uh, haven't had a Goblin deck yet. I've had the Black Red Uncommon that, you know, flashes and deals damage equal to your Goblins. With like a couple of Changelings, so, you know, it does three to something. But, you know, haven't got to really go off with this. Although I was glad to see Ringleader spoiled for uh, M20. All right. Here is the Rare, I guess. Should be. But then there's another Magic. There's two more magic back cards? That's weird. Hey, Ice Fang Quaddle. Do not call this Bellful Strix. It is neither an artifact nor can it go on a Tezzeret deck. So those are my main criteria for warning it. Uh, it does draw a card. Cool. It'll give you death touch if you have other snow permanents, which by the way aren't great. But uh, whatever. It's a sweet card. It's worth something. What else do we have here? We have a foil treetop ambusher. So I do like the art. It's it's pretty sweet. The shine is good. Uh, dash and green, kind of weird. It was a um, Mardu mechanic, I believe. And what do we have here? Oh, the of course the snow covered forest. What is our art card? Is huh? The card I wish I opened. Sword of Truth and Justice. Um, yeah, I'm still pretty indifferent on these. I really wish. It, and I grant I got a full in this pack, but there's not fulls in every pack. If you could replace this with a full in every pack, I would like it more. Just saying. But, uh, or make the packs cost less. Hey, there's an idea. And you got a sweet bear token. So, still, one of the better rares you can open. Um, and a full, and a, as art card goes, that's pretty good. I do like the Chris Ron art. Uh, I'm probably going to have to pick this up for the cube. The sword, that is. But, anyway, hope uh, you're having pretty good luck with your Modern Horizon pools, are you also burnt out on spoilers? And I mean, the, the spoilers that are coming out for uh, the 2020 core set is, they're, they're all really cool. Like, I like all, a lot of the cards that are coming out, but it's just too much. It's like, I I have, this is my first pack of this open up in paper. I haven't played a single match in paper. I only played a few online. It's way too expensive. And I don't know. Like I said, it's, there's a lot of interesting cards in the set. The new Kalia looks pretty cool. I don't think it's for standard, but it still looks good. There's a couple other cards that are definitely commander cards. But anyway, I don't know. Uh, just tell me what you think. And uh, like I said, if you have any good openings, let me know about those. Thanks for watching.